Hi, Robert Anthony here for Mac Tuts Plus. If you're anything like me, you like to keep your computer organized, almost to an obsessive compulsive level. Everything from my desktop to my downloads folder is usually spick and span. I want to share a neat and maybe overlooked trick built into Finder inside of OS X that can really help you stay on top of the digital clutter and streamline your workflow. I have a folder here called Templates, and as you've guessed, it's full of template files I use almost every day. Here's a zip file, for example, I have called Customer Name Project Name. If I click to open it, bam, I have a template folder for a design project. And if I need another one, boom, I have another one. That's cool, but I also have some individual files here that I use as templates. Here inside of the social folder, for example, I have a .psd template I use for Dribbble which is sort of a social network for graphic designers. If we open it up, we can see that it's a blank canvas with some guides. And what you can do is, after working on it, save the file out with a save as command to make a copy. But if you're not careful, you can accidentally save over the original template file doing it this way. I've done this many times and I've had to go back and rebuild the original template file. What you can also do is copy the file before opening it. But that's really adding steps to your workflow, and ideally, templates sh should be removing steps. As always, OS X to the rescue. If you right-click on any file and select Get Info, or hit the keyboard shortcut Command-I, you'll get a finder window with information about that file. Right at the bottom of the General section, you'll see a checkbox for something called Stationary Pad. Stationary Pad is a way to label almost any file as a template right inside a finder. If you click to label a file as a stationary pad file, when you click to open it, Finder will automatically make a copy of the file for you and then open it in its associated app. This saves you from having to remember to drag out a copy of the file or saves you the work of rebuilding your template when you forget to. The copies of the file that Finder makes for you are not labeled as stationary pad files. Think of it as the master file as the stationary pad, and each copy is a sheet or sticky you rip off of the stack. Also, keep in mind that Finder is making an exact copy. So what you want to use are files that you've set up with being a template in mind. For example, if I make this text file a stationary pad file, it's going to copy all of the text each time, which you would then need to delete before using. Stationary Pad is a great feature, but there are two features I'd personally like to see added. I wish Finder would ask you to rename the file right from the outset. And also, I wish it would ask you where you would like to save the file, instead of just placing it inside of the folder that you're currently working in. But even lacking these two features, Stationary Pad is a great way to truly make your template files be them Photoshop files, text files, HTML files, or any other file type, behave like a real template file should at the system level, instead of leaving it up to the user to remember that it's a template. This is Robert Anthony for MacTuts Plus. Thanks for watching.